Hello everybody and welcome back to the Mega Modded series. We are jumping in on a 15 win streak. God damn, and I may say that in a very high voice in a very weird way. And that's because I'm extremely surprised and we get regular forgotten to the beast. I'll see about going to the beast, but at least we got regular forgotten, which at least potentially isn't too hard of a character. I feel like he's a character that I always mess up with just because it's, I don't know, it's a character that I, oh, really, uh, that I have a real trouble with, with learning. I've said it many times before, but learning to not just use the, um, the burn version of him and I lose burn hearts early and it, it's just terrible. So I'm hoping we get some health to heal up the uh, the missing heart that we <laughs> that we already lost. Uh, I mean, that wasn't really my fault. I don't think there was too much that could have been done about that. But there you go. At least we got to remember, I was about to say, that we can like insta-destroy poops. We can grab stuff over pits. We can get into curse rooms easier. There's all sorts of really good stuff this character can do that's going to help us out. Obviously, one of the main things is just the crazy amount of damage output we can get with this character right off the bat. Uh, but yes, today's... Ooh, Angry Tears is kind of interesting. I like it as an item. I have heard it can potentially cause crashes, but I'll take it nonetheless. But it's only going to work, obviously, when we're in our soul form, or unless we get some synergy that allows us to fire tears, because I doubt, I very highly doubt that we can fire an Angry Tear via the Burn Thrower. That would be strange, but very good. <laughs> um, but yes, today's question... It's a pretty simple one, pretty basic one, but I don't even know how I haven't asked yet. What is your favorite bed beverage, your favorite drink, whether it be alcoholic or any other? Um, for me, my, my favorite one that is non-alcoholic is definitely, like, cloudy lemonade. And, like, I mean, like, proper cloudy lemonade, like, homemade. Because one of the things that kind of got me thinking about it was just, for one, I wanted it. Ooh, this 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 good. We get, we get burn hearts for this, so we'll take it. But it could mess with our stats. Yeah, lowered our damage a bit, but it upped our fire rate a decent amount, and it gave us, um... Good burn hearts. It'd be nice if it had a forgotten costume. I realise that uh, additional costumes aren't exactly something that everyone wants to spend the extra time doing, but especially for a for an item like Starvation, having a costume for the forgotten would be pretty cool. But yeah, anyways, as I was saying, um, it kind of got me thinking about it because I just woke up and was like, ooh, I really want some. But I had it recently, and I mean like proper good homemade stuff. I had it recently because I went to our office for work. We, we had this weird sort of setup where... We don't... Ooh, I've, not, I've never had the tainted version of this before. So once a cell phone familiar, you can kick around. The familiar will deal one-fifth of the player's damage every four frames to enemies in a small radius. Okay. So before it was, um... It was, like, um... Enemies that were between me and it, but now it's a small radius. Now, I'm a little, little upset to see that I can, um... Ooh, that was a good hit. That I can't swing at it with my forgotten burn. That's a little upsetting. Like... Also, it's got this weird effect going around it. <laughs> that's kind of cool. Um, but that's that's going to be pretty good, especially if we get high damage. That's going to scale pretty well. It seems to have a pretty large radius, too. But yeah, so so we have this weird setup where we have a office that we don't use. Essentially, we use it sometimes for meetings every now and again, but it's not like we work from there every day. I mainly work from home, and all of us do. Um, and uh, it's basically, yeah, for having meetings and also... Just so that, like, when people ask us where we're based, we have, like, a base of operations that we can give them an address for, for, like, mailing purposes and other stuff. Um, so, we we go there every now and again, and it's a really nice place. Oh, no, I need to be very careful here. I don't want to lose a burn heart. Um, it's, 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 it's quite a nice place, to be honest. Um, I've been there a few times already, just on meetings and stuff. And a lot of the time, because I'm one of the only people, like, in the UK um, with my job, we end up uh, having it so that... Ooh, can we reach that? We can with that ghost form, at least. Um, yeah, I, I end up being, like, the only person that ends up going in uh, physically. So, I've been a few times, and they have... Ooh, gotta be careful there. They have a, a setup where they have, like, a... It's called, like, the social floor, which is basically a floor for having, like, business meetings. But it's, like, got, like, a bar and, like, can cook some really posh food. And it just looks just extravagant. It's really, really nice. It's really, really nice. I, I, I try and eat there whenever I can when I, uh, when I go in for meetings, just because it is so nice. Uh, it's not, not all the time that I can, but when I, when I do have the ability to, I try to. I try and get my phone into a more damaging spot here. Didn't really work out. Uh, so yeah, and, and I went there once, and they, they did like cans of, of cloudy lemonade that were homemade. And as that was the first time I tried like homemade cloudy lemonade, and oh my god, they, they were expensive. It was like two pound fifty a can, which is like four dollars. Um, for you guys in the US, but so, so it was pretty expensive for a single drink, but my god, 
It was so good. Oh, you bastard. At least we didn't lose that burn hat. Um, I think a devil deal's definitely in the cards for us right now. I will take that also. Let's have a little look in here. Um, so we got some trinkets here. Meteorite. Each tier fire has a chance to make a meteorite fall from the sky. Meteorite fall at random position. Explode an impact and can burn enemies in various. They, do, they can't damage us. Okay. Um, and then I think we'll grab that. And we will be on our way. Okay, that's, that, that's, that's pretty good going. Obviously, we don't have soul form available to us right now. In fact, I'm tempted to go to the shop and try and get a soul heart just to make sure I have soul form available. But it's whatever. This this active is going to be really good for us because it allows us to insta-kill one enemy per room. And eventually get um, a devil item for free, which is pretty good. And we should really prioritize when we use it because the more we fill it up, the better. But at the same time... You can't swing at things while you're using it, so you you don't really want to be using it on enemies that, that, that you can kill quicker otherwise. The good thing about it, though, is it stops enemies from firing or, like, ha having their on-death effects. So as you saw with that enemy there, we kind of just insta-killed him, um, and he didn't get to do anything to us, which was pretty awesome. Also, got to be careful not to use it in a room with no enemies or bosses, because otherwise it'll just pay out, and uh, when it pays out, it, the item itself is gone. I mean, the payout can be good, but... So, yeah, like, in a situation like that, that was perfect. So, let's let's try... Oh, we don't have Soul Form available. I was going to say, let's try this Meteorite thing out, but we don't actually have Soul Form available right now. Uh, got a High Priestess there. That's whatever. And it also, it seems... It's seemingly quite random what it targets. So, we're not able to um, influence, really, what it picks. Ooh, I think I'll definitely take Rosary here. Fire Rate's great. Um... Rosary and the Bible both contribute towards Seraphim, so we could get closer to Seraphim here. Uh, and it now gives us the ability to actually use our soul form. Yeah, I want to see how, how uh, regular the... There you go. These regular meteors are. It seems pretty cool. It's unfortunate that it's not really going to affect our burn. We've got two items now that are really in that, camp, in that same camp. But it's kind of whatever. Uh, okay. Shop is potential. I don't think we need it. Let's... Grab that. Like, look at that. that. That dude that splits his head off and uh, spews out a bunch of shots. No, thank you. Easy breezy for us. Easy breezy. But yeah, then the, the other sort of favorite beverage that I have that's alcoholic. And this is one that I get all the time when I'm out. Another one that's particularly expensive just because it's got a lot in it is a Long Island iced tea. And that that is one that, for one, is... I don't know how many of you have tried it, how many of you are legally able to try it. But um, it is, like, one of the most alcoholic cocktail, like, alcohol content cocktails that you can get. It's got just basically a one of everything in it. And it tastes amazing. It's like a Coke-based um, Coke based cocktail. I don't even know what's in it, to be honest. But it's got all sorts of stuff in it. Tastes great. Um, ooh, meat's actually pretty good for us here as well. Yeah, we should, we should go and uh, go to our cash room over here. So we are losing a bit of fire rate right here for each burn heart we get. But we're gaining damage, so I don't mind too much. I'm also going to bomb you. Unfortunately, not really the result I was hoping for, but not terrible. Um, and Oh, ooh, 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 I forgot that this dude could destroy keepers. We should be heading to our shops all the time. We can get some free items and potentially some nickels and such. The, the fern is, is quite the bouncy boy, I will say. It's very, very difficult to actually get it to sit where I want it to sit. But yeah, we'll buy another soul heart here. I, I want to try and use my soul variant a little more often here, just because we have this ability now with uh, our shots to actually get some good usage out of it. Wrong one. Yeah, and I I, I kind of got turned on to Long Island Ice Teas um, quite a while ago now. Ooh. Will this take a burn heart is the question. Convert one red heart to two burn hearts. Now, that would be good if it had worked, but I don't think it does. <laughs> Um, right, so I might lose a burn heart doing this. Oh. Thanks. Uh, <laughs> it literally d opened once and gave me nothing, so I, ca I can't even try. Yeah. I got, I got, anyways, I got turned on to Long Island Ice Teas when I went, uh, on holiday with some friends. It was just before COVID hit, actually, like, probably about two or three months before COVID kind of came into full force. Uh, we were able to go on holiday, uh, to Tenerife. I went with my girlfriend and two of her friends from work. Uh, we only went for like four or five days. It wasn't like a, a big long trip or anything, but I had a really good time. And uh, despite it being a short trip, we had a, had a really fun time. And basically, the three things we did while we were there was drink, eat, and sleep. <laughs> uh, well, no, also swim. 
Let's say four. But that was it. Yeah, it was basically just... We'd go from, like, bar to bar getting uh, jugs of sangria because they were just really, really inexpensive there. And sangria is something that I didn't think I'd like, but I ended up liking more than I, more than I thought I would. I don't know if I liked it more because it was cheap. Uh, I feel like that's definitely a potential because um, sangria, for those of you that don't know, is basically... We'll do that speed up. Nice. And we got ourselves an unholy card. Grant's Mega Brimstone for the current room. Nice. Let's pop that open. Oh, another speed up bread. Awesome. Yeah, uh, it, it's basically like wine and a bunch of other things. And I hate wine. I just think wine tastes like vinegar. I don't care how expensive it is. I've never in my life tasted wine that was good. Um, ooh, I love strawberry milk here. Damn it. Um, yeah, I've never in my life tasted wine that was good. So I was apprehensive, but I ended up quite liking it. And like I said, we just went from some sort of bar to bar having these. And that kind of obviously inspired me to try some other things that I perhaps thought before that I maybe didn't like. Um, so I tried uh, a Long Island iced tea and oh, when you're abroad, they're a little watered down. That's kind of just the deal. Like you pay, you're paying a lot less, but you're also going to get a bit less alcohol content. But they can, some places can be overly generous. So we found this one place that was overly generous and was giving us quite, um, quite well mixed cocktails at a very, very, very cheap price compared to the UK at least. Um, oh, God damn. Let's, uh, let's get some shots in here. And by shots, I mean normal tears. Ooh, I love this meteor item. Did I get hit by a champion there? I think I did. I think I did. It's these bloody things that I hate. Go away. We do not have a lot of damage going on right now. We have 2.49 when we're in soul form. Goddamn. Uh, oh, are you still alive? Go away. It's still the champion as well. Bugger off. God damn, that took a while. And so, yeah, I brought my horizons and tried this Long Island Ice Tea, and I was like, oh, my lord. Oh, my lord, this is the best thing I've ever tasted in my entire life. And since then, I've been, like, getting them pretty much everywhere I go. Obviously, the main downside is, like, especially where I live now, I live in sort of more of a major city, and they are £9 each normally, which is, like, like $13, I think, for a, a cocktail, which is just ridiculously expensive, at least in my opinion. Um, which is a bit of a shame. Ha ah, you sat right on top of my phone. You fools. Uh, which is ridiculously expensive in my opinion, but hey ho, I, I really like it and I, I am able to buy them, so I do. Uh, but the also downside is they get you drunk ridiculously fast if you're not careful. Uh, there's actually one place near where I live uh, that's, it's a German theme. Oh, we'll definitely uh, smell this bad boy, yeah. Um, it's a German themed like bar that has like an umpire band and everything it's 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 quite it's quite a good little place actually i really like it but they do they do cocktail steins as in like um yeah, i'll just hop out like this they do cocktail steins which as you can probably imagine a stein is a huge basically i don't know if it's a pint or if it's around a pint it's it's a it can hold a lot of liquid and it's one of them just filled to the brim with a cocktail you can get multiple different ones and my god they're incredible uh, please. Oh, I was hoping to get rid of the champion here, but oh well. Uh, I keep forgetting how good our fire is. I'm really hoping we can get strawberry milk here. Ooh. Potentially quite good for us here. Do I... I kind of want to keep the Mega Brim card, though. But at the same time, Soul of the Lost has potential to be better. So I feel like I should take it. I could just do this, couldn't I? What am I doing? Oh, damn it. I should have killed the spiders first. That's why you need to kind of prioritize with this thing. Still haven't ranked it up to the next color yet. It ranks up with colors to pair, giving you sort of a hint at what, what level loot you're going to get. I'm pretty sure this guy can... Oh, he can't. I thought he could get them for free. He can't. Um, Bloody Lust is decent enough. It's not great, but the damage will help. I, I, I really feel like Secret Room is here. I'm not sure why. Eh. It very much looked like it, didn't it? I don't know about you, but I really thought it was there. But I'm feeling 22. I can't even say that anymore. I'm 24 now. I'm an old ass bitch. God damn. I feel so old. Like one one of the one of the really weird things for me. Oh, this is so upsetting. Uh one of the really weird things for me about like feeling older. Like, there's not many things that make me really feel much older. But by the way, for any of you that are like that are like 17 or under. From that age, you think, oh, when I get to, like, 25, I'll feel like, uh, like, 23, 24, 25, I'll feel like an adult. You won't. 
at all. You feel exactly the same as you did when you were 17. It doesn't change how you feel in any way, shape, or form, or at least it hasn't for me. Um, I feel ex literally exactly the same. Um, it's it's kind of weird, really. I, I really thought there'd be a significant difference in how I feel. Nope, I... I, I feel exactly like I'm still, like, 16. <laughs> it's weird. Oh, God, this boss is just hell on Earth. At least now the boss actually looks really nice, so I don't have to be as sad. Dude. Can one of these meteors hit this dude? <laughs> okay. Ooh, we got Foul Gut here. Uh, Foul Gut's kind of an interesting one. I, I'll definitely take it. I don't know if taking it as the soul... Yeah, okay, good. I was going to say, taking it as the soul is actually better, because then we'll get the drops and won't have to take all the rotten hearts, which is kind of a little tricky dude out there. Excuse me, Devil Deal. This has been most unpleasant. Just got some bombs from it, but that's a bit upsetting. <clears throat> yeah, and what what the hell was I what the hell was I getting on it? Oh yeah, so one of the things that, that for me has like really made me feel older is the comedy of today. The memes. Like, the fuck are you lot doing? <laughs> Like, people just post, like, a video of a dude eating ice sped up to 300%, and that's funny. And I'm like, what? How? <laughs> I just, it makes me feel like such an old man, because I'm like, ooh, oh, really? That was a fucking amazing hit. I'm like, I don't get the comedy of today's kids, and it, it makes me feel like a right old man. But at the same time, I, I, see, I see memes get posted in my Discord, and I'm like, what in the, what are y'all smirking? <laughs> what on earth are y'all smirking here? There is some bizarre shit going on. Okay. Ooh, we got one of these hearts. That's nice. We'll uh, save that for a hot minute. These have a 25% chance to open, so... Make sure I don't die. There you go. Bloodshot eye. That's just dandy, isn't it? Right. Out we go. Just be careful. We're a little bit worse for wear on that side of things. Okay, we'll definitely, we'll definitely try reroll best blood because it's not very good. Ooh, I know it's going to lower our fire rate quite a lot, um, but I think this is going to be pretty good for us. Okay, this is a little tricky. Our cell phone is doing a great job, by the way. Great job of just passively killing stuff, keeping them off our back. But yeah, I just. I feel like such an old man because I look at the memes of today and I'm, I'm just, like, lost. I'm just like, I don't understand how these are funny. Like, I think sort of the, the Gen Z humor or, like, the, the, the type of memes, there's, like, two things that kind of make up why why people like them or why they're so popular. It's, like, subverting expectations and being unpredictable or weird. Uh, and I, I feel like that's, like, a big part of it. I just, I don't get the... Random video that's completely unrelated. Oh, I lost a burn heart there. Like, random video that's completely unrelated, plus uh, speeding it up to 300% and white text at the top. That's like 95% of everything you see here. Whoa, this is cool. I like this little room. I would love Smelter, but right now I need this. Um, Yeah, and I'm just like, the fuck am I looking at right now? What the hell's going on? I don't know if anyone else in, like, the Gen Z age group feels that way, but goddamn, I'm always, like, I always feel like I'm just an absolute old man. Okay, so we we're bound to get the Bible at some point, but at the same time, I'm not terribly disappointed by it. It's a little annoying to get it from the Fallen of all bosses, just because the Fallen could potentially give us some much better stuff. But at the same time, as I said, I'm not I'm not ridiculously disappointed with that because we have one-off Seraphim now. And while I know that Angel deals aren't really coming our way anytime soon, I still think that's valuable. Get here, boy. This dude's beefy. Wow. He's a beefy boy. Okay, this, these are the sort of flaws we're using our, um, using our spacebar items way more valuable. I think we can crack that open. There you go. Yeah, we are, we are killing it now, though. Triple shot was definitely the right pickup. We need to get that burn heart back. Yeah, look at that. Getting rid of one of the most annoying enemies. Honestly, Bloodshot Eye is doing a not terrible job. <laughs> it's hitting a lot of things. But yeah, I don't know. Is there, is there anything like that where, where like, I know a lot of you are probably younger than me. I know there's some of you that are older, some of you that are around my age, but there's probably a lot of you that are younger. 
Is there anything like within your own age group, within your like school class or whatever, that you just don't get? Like people find funny or enjoyable that you just cannot fathom. You cannot understand why. Because that, that kind of tra school and stuff goes through all these sort of weird trends and stuff. What the hell? You halved my soul heart. How dare you? Uh, we'll crack that bad boy open. Oh, what am I doing? I've got the 5G boy. I should be using that more often. I haven't even found a secret room this entire run, I don't I don't remember. I'm liking having the, uh, the rotten heart, though, to get these extra flies. They're helping out a ton. But yeah, just remember we can use Soul of the Lost to grab a devil deal if we want to. Cha gotcha. Uh, what do we reckon for secret room? No. Um, no. I'm a little lost on where secret room could be, actually, on this floor. Ooh, I always hate this room. This room uh, is one of those rooms that's like, I think it's pretty smart and well-designed, but every single time I go into it, I'm like, pain. Just pure pain. Get out here, rock flies. I, th I, think, I think another thing with, like, just, like, growing up and uh, in general is sort of... Oh, god damn it. Getting to, like, see the trends change, especially, like, for, for like, during school. It's kind of crazy how, how rapidly things, things change. Like, I remember, I remember back in, um, I, I really don't know, actually, but I remember, like, back in school when I was in, like, uh, secondary school and even primary school as well. Goddamn Pokemon cards were the shit. Everyone, everyone you knew was on that. Really? Really? I feel like I kind of have to take them. I'll, I'll at least take the duplicate. There you go. It's a range up. Yeah, I feel like everyone was on that. Everyone loved Pokemon cards. I, I don't know how big Pokemon still is. I like. I've been to a few. Uh, there's, there's like a store near where I am, and it's like it's like a. It's sort of like a, a hipster market where it's like a a three story building just full of a bunch of different like more hipster esque shops. There's like some sort of. All clothing shops. There's like a, a place that you can buy like healing crystals and all that sort of stuff, which I personally don't believe in. But it's nice that it has that there's a, a place for people to get that sort of stuff if they want it. Um, ooh, do, 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 I don't think we want any of these, do we? Oh, well, doesn't matter. We got one. Uh, <laughs> yeah, and one of the shops in there is like a Pokemon card shop, but it, like it's not just for like. This is also really good for us because we've been missing a ton of stuff. Um, it's not just like great for um, getting new Pokemon cards. It also has like a bunch of like rare collectible ones. There's cards in there that cost like £7,000 and stuff. It's, it's absolutely insane. But it's also really awesome to see a place that like has all that stuff. There's also another, another shop in the same place that just has walls. And I mean like three full walls. And I mean top to bottom full walls completely covered can we get that we might be able to get that uh with um action figures like every collectible action figure you can imagine is there and it's pretty awesome it's pretty awesome to see there is just so much so much stuff in there so it's, it's, a, it's a pretty cool place and i'm not very hipster-esque myself but it's it's one of those places that you kind of appreciate when you see it um why did i even do that i've got the i've got the little fairy boy to tell me uh where secret rooms are i have an odd place for a secret room but there you go. Okie dokie. Right. We're on our way now. We're on our way. It's a little late to get your listen, but whatever. Uh, I will check over here just in case the secret room's this way, because it could be. It's not. Uh, what? I can't even remember what, what I was getting at. Oh, yeah. And uh, I gotta say, like, Pokemon cards were, like, just massive when I was in school. Like, everyone had them. Everyone had their collections. And everyone had like rare cards that they trade and all that sort of stuff. And I remember they got they got banned in our primary school uh, because like people were just trading cards and then wanting them back and then fighting. It was a whole mess. Uh, but I had like an absolutely great collection. Like I'd, I'd like uh, alphabetize them. I'd set them all up uh, like in rarity order in like a, a big folder binder with like clear plastic sleeves and everything. It was all pristine. And I loved it. It was like my pride and joy. And of course, my parents buying me the Pokemon cards. I probably spent hundreds and hundreds of pounds on all the cards that were in there. Um, and yeah, uh, my sister um, decided it'd be fun. But bear in mind, my sister's like five years younger than me. And this happened when I was like 
15, maybe 16. Um, it was like they, they were in sort of the back garage. I, at this point, I wasn't really playing with them anymore. I wasn't. Um, oh shit! We're meant to be going beast. Heck! I'll, I'll go this way. Damn it. Um. Oh shit! I didn't mean to take that. Oh my god, that was dumb. I did not mean to take that. But we have it now. That was an oopsie. I was I was gonna use Soul of the Lost, but I wanted to wait until um. I wanted to wait until the hand had fallen down. I just accidentally picked it up. But yeah, like, I had this nice sleeve. And bear in mind, like I said, I hadn't played with it in a long time. Like, I hadn't looked at it. But I was kind of, like, keeping them for, for one, for nostalgia for my own purposes. Because they were, they were mine as a kid. And they were a collection I was pretty proud of as a kid. So I was like, oh, cool. I'll keep these pristine and in good condition. So I kept them in, like, my parents' garage. Um, garage, whatever you want to call it. This is pretty dangerous. What am I doing? Um, really should be careful about the amount of burn hearts I've got right now, because it's pretty low. And, yeah, she, she found them when she's, uh, bear in mind, like, so she was, like, nine at the time. I think, I think around nine years old. Uh, she found them in the garage and was like, ooh, I would very much like this folder with these plastic sleeves. So, she took all of the Pokemon cards out and just strewed them all over the floor in the garage, which is... Uh, like, it's it's not outside, but, like, the elements are... It's a bit more exposed to the elements. And, yeah, um, she was like, cool, yeah, I'm just going to take them all out and throw them all over the floor. And not tell you for weeks. And I hadn't been to the garage in a long time, and neither had my parents, because we didn't really have much of a need to, to be honest. There wasn't much in there that we needed. It was just really a storage place, because we didn't, like, put the car in there or anything like that. So, like, no one had been in there for a good while, like, a good, like, month or two. And I went in, I think, to, like, get my bike out or something. I can't... Or, like, get a... Uh, a bike tire pump or something like that and yeah i just found them all strewn across the floor absolutely destroyed by like water damage and all sorts of stuff that like loads of them were like peeling and there was tons of them missing that are just like blown away under the garage door with the wind and i was devastated what the fuck just hit me i thought i thought they said the meteors couldn't hurt me i'm guessing what actually happened there is a meteor fell down and hit an explosive rock and the explosive rock then hurt me but yeah, as you can imagine, I was pretty I was pretty devastated by this. I was like, okay, so my sister can just <laughs> destroy my belongings <laughs> and not tell anyone about it. And she didn't even get in trouble for it or anything. Like, because because it had like happened like a month ago. She she, she didn't get in trouble. I, I was so pissed. I was so pissed. Speaking of um devastating childhood trauma based on Pokemon. I remember uh, back when the Pokemon games were all the rage. I realized the Pokemon games are still kind of all the rage. Um, but I remember back when Pokemon games were, like, huge, and I was playing, like, Pokemon Leaf Green, and then when Emerald came out, I actually managed to somehow, I do not know how, get my hands on a copy of Pokemon Emerald way before it came out. Also, let's guess. Way before it came out, I managed to get my hands on a copy of Emerald. Um, oh god, be careful here. And so, yeah, I I was a bit confused. I think my dad, what he'd done is he'd bought me a Game Boy Advance and then gone, like, on eBay and just bought a bunch of second-hand copies. And I think he'd bought, bought a few of them from Japan. Um, and so they had, like, some of the games were released earlier. But it was an English copy, or at least had English language on it. He might have changed it for me, to be honest. But, yeah. Um, and I played through it. And I th at this point, I was a bit confused because Pokemon Emerald hadn't even been announced in the UK. So I had this game with, with new Pokemon on it that no one else had. Uh, and uh, yeah, but I was, I was, I loved it. I thought it was really good. It's, it's still one of my favorite games. What the hell's going on with these guys? It's still one of my favorite games. I still really, really love it. Um, I think the phone's messing with these guys' AI. Can you go away? There you go. Um, come on, dude. There you go. Yeah, so I, I absolutely loved it. I played it a ton. And I was a bit confused because it didn't exist. For, I mean, none of my friends had it, at least. But otherwise, I was like, "Cool, yeah, this is this is pretty pretty dope. I will uh, I will play this a lot." And I eventually, um... okay, um, I eventually went and uh... oh god, oh god, oh god, oh dude, come on now. Nah, I need to switch. I need to switch, dude. This enemy sucks. Big penis. Um, yeah, I eventually. Finished the game, beat the Elite Four, and I had my, my absolutely star team. I had a Waylord, which was like one of my favorite Pokemon of all time, and still is. And I just, I loved them. They were, they were, they were great. I had like a few good level 100s. And turns out, 
I had what must have been an internal test copy or like a, a beta copy, an unfinished version, because as many of you that have played the Pokemon games probably know, when you, be when you beat the Elite Four, you can then carry on playing and do as you please and do what you want. You can go fight the tower or you can just fight random trainers. You can do whatever you want. That's not quite how my copy worked. My copy, once you finished the Elite Four and once you saw your Hall of Fame, just deleted your save file. It just wiped it. It was gone. <laughs> just gone. Every single thing that I'd done, my Hall of Fame, all my favorite Pokemon, just Vamoosh, gone, deleted. I cried so hard. <laughs> I mean, bear in mind, I probably was like about nine years old when this happened. Maybe, maybe a little older, but god damn, did that just absolutely ruin me. <laughs> that, that might genuinely be my first, like my earliest memory of holy shit, life's unfair. <laughs> Like, what the hell? What the hell, life? How could you do this to me? I trusted you. But I still thought it was kind of funny that, like, and I... Because for the longest time, I didn't really understand what had happened or why. And I didn't even understand that my copy of, um... That my copy of Emerald was anything special. I just thought my dad had got me a game that I hadn't seen before on TV. But then, around a year later... Pokemon Emerald adverts started to show up on TV, and I was like, whoa, yeah, let's, um... Dad, can you get me this Pokemon Emerald? It's Pokemon Emerald 2. It's like the sequel to the other game you got me. It looks great. Um, turns out it was the same game. <laughs> I just had an early copy somehow, and I, I got my dad to buy me it, and it was just the exact same game. But obviously this time, it didn't reset my save file. Dude, the mobile phone needs fixing. It, like, stop, stop making hosts not shoot. Um, yeah, <laughs> I was just like, whoa, cool, new emerald, and I was like, oh, wait, oh, shit, I used my active by accident there. This is going to be kind of a hard boss for us. I mean, we're doing a lot of damage, but at the same time, this is a little tricky. Where you gone, boy? Whoa! Thank you, Solar Gluttony. A bit of HP, lovely. Not HP, bit of damage, sorry. Kind of need that. You give me pennies, are you kidding? I'm trying to get a burn heart here. Hey, I got one, nice. Okay, I'll try I'll try again. Okay, now we're going to leave it there. I will pop you, though, and try and get some HP. Pop me out one of those HP upgrades. Dude, this guy is... I gotta say, that guy's taking a lot. Taking all my money from me. We got pretty unlucky with our devil deals so far, but... That's life, I guess. Right, we'll carry on. And yeah, that, 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 that's gotta be like my first interaction of just devastation. And also, um, my first experience with... Like subverting what I thought in terms of like, oh my god. I was so convinced that that I that I was buying this Emerald 2 game, this the second version of Emerald. Turns out I already had Emerald and I'd already played it. And it was almost identical. Like everything was the same apart from the fact that there was endgame. Like you didn't get reset. Ooh, I think that's better than what we have right now. I don't need it particularly badly, but I still want it. God damn, this is an annoying room. Yep. Gotta go back and get that half heart just in case. Gots to go back. Gimme, gimme. Right, just head towards the second secret room. Should be good here. Oh, this is just be one of those episodes where I've got like I, I love I love it when I get one of these episodes where I just get super deep into the conversation. I, I barely, like, I kind of no-brain the entire run. They're really exciting, those ones, at least for me. I don't know how, how much you guys, because I try, I try to mix it up between episodes and during the episodes, like, how much I, uh, I how much time I spend speaking about uh, the game versus random stuff. And sometimes it tips the scale in one direction to uh, or the other. Sometimes it's more game, sometimes it's more life. It depends on the run, really, and also the mood, the mood that I'm feeling during that day, but... 
Today was just like a prime time. Oh, god damn it. Was just like a prime time. Oh, dude, calm your passions. Like a prime time run of just speaking about random nothing. And I love it. It's just, for me at least, one of the people ask me why, like, what got me into YouTube a lot. One of the things that, like, got me started, of course, was, like, watching Northern Lion. I've answered that question a few times now. Um. Yeah, it was like watching Northern Lion, but sort of the, the bigger thing that got me sort of into it in terms of like why I wanted to do it, why, why myself I thought it'd be good for me, is for one, I'm just a person that talks a lot generally. I've got a lot of shit to say, um, and so I thought having a, having a way to put that forward. What a deal doesn't appear after a boss, that boss item has a 33% chance to turn into a deal item. Eh, that's not great. The Spiritual Reserve spawn two ghostly orbital familiars that block enemy shots and shoot spectral tears. Um, ooh, okay. Oh, that's cool. Like, unique little fellas. Um, walk into a bomb, uh, bomb chest opens them for free. I'll give this a go. I've had it before and I didn't really like it, but I'll try it out. Actually, it's pointless now because we don't have any boss items, so. Fools me. Fool is me. We haven't managed to level up our, um, to level up our thingy all that much. Our pentagram. Gotta be careful here, we only have two soul hearts. We really don't want to take any unnecessary damage. But at the same time, being able to use the Forgotten as an absolute stone brick to just sit behind is very enjoyable. Very enjoyable indeed. Devil Deal. Um, dude, actually what's going on with our Devil Deal look here? This is the third Devil Deal in this run that we haven't actually had any items to go at. Very upsetting, but... Again, life is unfair. That is that is the, the theme of today. But yeah, like I was saying, like one of the one of the things that I really liked is just having a platform to just talk, because I just enjoy talking. I'm a, I'm a very talkative person, as probably all of you have already understood. But another thing for me as well, and this is more something that I found out later on into already doing YouTube. It's quite therapeutic for me. Like, even if I'm talking just about the game and not, like, talking about personal stuff, not, like, getting stuff off my chest or whatever, I still find it very, very sort of relaxing to um, to just talk and play a video game. It's really enjoyable. Um, and it's, like, it really is the sort of thing where it, it I do it because I enjoy it and it doesn't feel like a chore. It doesn't feel like something that I... The, like, I, I, I always derive some amount of joy or entertainment out of doing these. And I, I will continue to do so until I no longer get that. And But I, I doubt that's going to happen anytime soon. Because I've, I've also had people say to me, like, Hey, when will you get bored of Isaac? Like, is there going to be a point where you get bored of Isaac? And I'll be honest with you. I'll be honest with you. Probably at some point. But it ain't going to be anytime soon. Like... So, for those of you that, that only joined my channel after um, after Repentance, which, to be honest, the, the, of those of you watching, it's probably quite a lot of you. Uh, my, my channel got quite a big boom in subscribers after Repentance. I went from, like, 3k subs to what I'm at now. So, I basically doubled my subscriber count. Um, and, yeah, uh, I... Like, I didn't actually used to do Daily Isaac. The only other game, actually, I've ever done daily was Enter the Gungeon. And I did that daily when I very, very first started my channel. That was, like, the first and only series I started my channel on. I did daily Enter the Gungeon, trying to do, like, a 0 to 100% save file. And I did, and it's actually a very, very enjoyable series that I'm still quite proud of to this day. So if any of you want to go and check that out, I highly recommend it. I think it's pretty good. Um... May sound a bit self-centered, but I do, I do, I'm quite proud of that series. I think it, I think it's good. I think considering it was my uh, sort of first time trying out commentary, things are a little, a little awkward to start, but I definitely, I definitely get there towards the end and really find my stride, I think. Uh, but anyways, yeah, so, um, I, I only ever used to do Enter the Gungeon daily. I'd never, I'd never done, um, anything else daily. And so when Repentance came out, I was like, cool, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna start doing Isaac daily. I actually, initially, only was supposed to, or only intended, to do Isaac Daly for two weeks. I was meant, I was gonna do, my plan was, do Isaac Daly for two weeks, just so that everyone gets on the train and sort of it pushes the channel out there a little bit, then return back to normal and start doing, uh, start doing my normal regu regular upload schedule, which was 
a lot more variety, but no daily series. Um, I, I played into the Gungeon, Binding of Isaac, um, Undermine, and then a bunch of other random smaller roguelikes, which I do wanna also want to return to doing some of them. But yeah, I never actually intended for um, Isaac to be a, a, a regular daily series. It was only going to be towards the start. And then, of course, as many of you probably found me through, Two Left Thumbs very kindly um, used my footage in his uh, History of Binding of Isaac video. And more so, I was, uh, like, he'd, he'd asked me to use the footage, and I said it was fine. And, but that, that was that was the limit of our discussion. Um, but, yeah, more so than just that, he ended up... Um, oh, God. Oh, God. I'm probably going to lose a burn heart in this room. Um, more so than that, he just gave me just an absolutely fantastic shout out. Way more than I was expecting. And right at the start of the video as well, which was, yeah, just extremely generous. I was super, super, super happy about it. And of course, it actually worked. It, it basically bumped my subscriber count by about one and a half K. A bunch of you guys that are probably watching now found me through that video. Um, which I'm, I was just, yeah, super appreciative of. And so, after that happened, my views kind of skyrocketed. I, I was getting, like, two to three hundred views in Isaac video, and then it kind of bumped to sort of six, six hundred to one K. Uh, so I was like, cool, okay, I've got to keep this trainer going and keep doing the daily videos. And then it got to the point where I was a few months in, and I was, all, I was still getting good views, like, pretty good views. I was gaining subs pretty regularly, and... People were, were thoroughly enjoying the series as I was trying to make my way towards Dead God. So I was like, cool, do you know what? Let's, um, this is, this kind of hell. Oh my lord. Um, I was like, do you know what? Let's just stick with this. And ever since then, I've just been going and going and going. And surprisingly, to, to my, uh, to my, uh, to my surprise and excitement, um, you guys have just been supporting the series more and more and more. Obviously, we started the Mega Modded, which is a little more interesting than Base Isaac, um, especially when we're getting, like, almost a year into Repentance at this point. It's got a little more to it, a little more intrigue. Um, but it's like, it's how I prefer to play Isaac anyways. I mean, anyone that watched my channel prior to Repentance knows that I did a modded series prior um, and was always planning to return to modded after Dead God, and so I did. Um, and... Yeah, it was just awesome to see the amount of people that showed their support, and even still do to this day. Like, I feel like it's it's kind of crazy how... Oh, I, I really need to be careful here. It's kind of crazy how, with Repentance coming out, I got a big boom in subs and a decent boom in views. And I expected that to eventually go away. Like, eventually it would return back to... I wouldn't say normalcy, it'd be a bit higher than normal, but, like, it, it returned back to, like an average amount of views, but it, it just keeps climbing and people keep finding my channel and watching. Um, and I'm really excited about it. I don't know if that's to do with my um, like involvement and friendship with BD1P recently, uh, get, getting a bit more exposure that way um, and other stuff that I've done uh, through the, the charity event and stuff. But either way, yeah, it's been a, it's been a super exciting time to um, get to... Oh god, this is a bit of a horrible room. Uh, been a really exciting time to get to do all this and like see people still enjoying it. And like I said, while I st I'm still really enjoying doing Isaac daily, like I, I absolutely love it. I, I actually kind of wake up and look forward to my daily Isaac run because I normally try and record at least one a day. Sometimes I record two a day if I want to try and build up my backlog a bit because my backlog at the minute is pretty healthy, so... I don't need to do two a day anymore, uh, but when my backlog's waning a little bit, I'll tend to do a little more. Can you fucking stop so I can hit you? God damn it. Um, dude, stop. Yeah, and I gotta say, I, um, I still really look forward to recording it, and it's even more exciting now that I look forward to recording it, and there's a lot of you looking forward to watching it. Like, my, my sort of ultimate goal, when I very first started YouTube, my, my pinnacle of, of if this happens, I, I'll be happy about, if my channel never grew again, I'd be happy. My ultimate goal was every single video I upload gets a minimum of 100 views. No matter what my sub count is, but every video I upload gets 100 views or more. Um, and that was kind of my ultimate goal. And I, at this point, I've way surpassed that. I do have some like series that only get near to 100 or, or like around that. But I now have an Isaac series that regularly gets 800 views to a, like 1,500. It gets a ton. And it's it's just so, it's so awesome to see. It's, it's really enjoyable. Like just thinking, I know that obviously in terms of YouTube numbers, I'm really not that big. But if you think about it, the fact that I'm getting like 1,000 views uh, a day on these Isaac videos... Imagine hosting a concert for a thou for like a, in a venue with seats a thousand and filling it every day. That's insane. Also, we might die. I hate this boss so much. Um, yeah, like imagine that. That's fucking crazy. That that like boggles my mind when I think about it. 
absolutely boggles my mind. Do you know what? We should we should pop this and see if we get anything good. Do you know what? That's pretty necessary. We need that. <laughs> uh, what? Oh, we're in the wrong room. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna say that just. Oh, for fuck's sake! The the chain fucked me over there. We'll get a soul hat out of this though. Don't worry. Yeah, I'm gonna say like thinking about that is just it's insane. It's absolutely insane. I know to some people that's like not the biggest of achievements and there's other YouTubers out there that get far, far more views than I do, but I still super happy. Ooh, Brittle Burns. That is a that is a clutch right there. That is a clutch right there. I know that we don't need them, but I'm gonna go back and get ourselves some of these hearts that are over there. Just to fill up these burn hearts a little bit. Just a little bit. It's just nice to be able to, like, do something I enjoy, play a game that I enjoy, and people still really enjoy it. It's awesome. I, and also, I just... The the sort of comment of the day thing we've been doing recently, I'm, I'm, I'm loving it. I, like, I know that it's a, it's a kind of some, something that a lot of YouTubers do. Um, for one, it's to engage with your uh, audience, but also it's to help drive the, um, drive the video in the YouTube algorithm, make it a little more popular. All that sort of good jazz. Um, and, and while that is definitely a part of why I do it, like I definitely, uh, I, I, I really like the fact that it helps boost the video a little bit. It encourages people to be more uh, interactive. But I also just, I, I just really, really enjoy interacting with the community. I think one of those things, it's like you can get like a million views on a video, but if you get a million views on a video and not a single comment, it feels kind of hollow and I wouldn't say worthless, but like, it doesn't really have the same impact, but if I get if I get a, a, a hundred view a hundred views on a video, but it has twenty comments, that makes me feel way better because it get it for one makes it seem a lot more real. It's not just numbers on a screen anymore. It's actual people with their own names and profile pictures um, and everything. Yeah, uh, and then like I said, it just it just helps to sort of actually engage with the people that are watching. I really enjoy it. Anyways, we've had a, a very fun time here. What a what a just entertaining episode. So I hope you guys did enjoy, and I'll see you guys in the next one.